What is going on, guys? Wise here coming to you with a recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. Uh, this was our weekend potluck spin. Uh, we masked Reddit Raiders, uh, one of the clans in the Poetic Darkness family. I think. I think. I'm pretty sure. I know. Uh, I know. Recently. PD's acquired a couple sort of sister clans or whatever you want to call them. But anyhow, uh, <laughs> much like much like us against Tactical Inc. last week, uh, Reddit Raiders really struggled. 85-75. Uh, uh, you know what was unfortunate for the Raiders was, uh, let's just check out what they did to us first. You know, they left one star there, uh, one star there. And actually, they used nine attacks between Guns and Papa there. So that really helped us out a lot up top. Um, you know, they did get a few TH10 triples in there, but left quite a few on the board. Uh, but that wasn't really the tail because their nines did great overall. They only, I think, required one dip somewhere in here down low. Yeah, nine right there. Um, you know, they, they, they bullied Mike O. And other than that, really just kind of set the path with the tens. And actually, R9 struggled a little bit out the gate. Uh, and I believe we needed three bullies at least something like that let's check this out here rob derp well there's one on for nina one for qc this was actually a planned um fresh hit bully i believe i know it was a fresh hit bully but we did struggle a little bit on the on the nines anyhow um Overall, so I would say once the the nine phase was complete, Reddit Raiders was looking pretty good, and you know our tens really came in and stole the show. Our elevens did their thing like they usually do, and uh, you know uh, just swept it on the bullies, and uh, didn't really struggle too much uh, going into the elevens and got those twos fairly quickly. Like Jacob got one there, Ice got one there, Nina got one there. And then we did use Dirty and TU to, to take care of four and five there. I believe these were sort of like semi, maybe triple attempts. Like, look, TU got 94%. They're almost a triple. Um, so just some really nice hits overall. And just fantastic job up top for uh, for the guys. Uh, 2.0 has had a couple of nice bounce backs since that tactical ink beat down. Um, you know, we had a, I just showed the recap, the random matchup against Colts and Camper, very even random matchup and a one-star victory. And then came into the potluck and absolutely just, uh, just dominated. So a lot of replays I do want to show. Let's jump right in, going down to Zibata. Check out number 27. Uh, Val wanted to show this attack not only because it's my favorite very uh, exaggerated segregated queen chamber with an open alley in between um, but I, I like the little drag swap Val brings here uh, all these air defense are so far away from this queen right dropping a few drags over here is basically going to take care of that whole nine o'clock section of the map but he does that actually at the end here gets a few little troops around kind of on these buildings and then goes ahead and drops that queen he's going to walk the queen down towards this town hall, um, take care of all this stuff, basically uh, uh, clear out a good funnel into the this core of this section of the base. And on top of it, these minis over here, I've already created a little bit of the funnel, but another thing I liked was the angle he decided to take on his golem here. Um, you're gonna see here in a minute. So first golem, oh, maybe it wasn't, I swear the, maybe it goes around. Yeah, that's right. So I, he didn't mean for that. Uh, you know, when I initially watched this, I kind of thought he had planned for that. And now that I'm watching it again, um, I don't think he he thought that it was necessarily going to go around in that mortar. But it works out really well because it tanks this cannon, it tanks both wizard towers, leaving these bowlers fairly untouched. Because everything's going to hop into this core. And until basically the king and these expos lock on, there's nothing attacking the kill squad or the bowlers because everything's everything's focused on the... Uh, on the golem over here. Finally, the expos lock on, king's gonna lock on, but it's okay because the king's in there, poison is down, bowlers are smashing through everything, it hits that king ability, and queen's in there mopping up as well. So you can take care of the Teslas, get all that juicy stuff in there, and goes ahead and drops these dragons over by the queen chamber. Nice little balloon out in front just to make sure that there's no sneaky little air mines in there. <clears throat> Dragons lock on, take quick work of that queen, and they're just going to mop up that nine o'clock section. Has a few hogs he's now sprinkled in. Really just wants to take care of the cannon and that expo. There's only only the expo to go. Even has a couple more hogs. Even saves one for cleanup. One balloon, one hog still in the bag for cleanup purposes. Really nice job there, Val. Boom. Tree stars in the bag. 
Mm -mm. That hazelnut cream, though. Ugh, I got some grounds in my coffee. Sometimes my Tassimo, I don't know what it is. Every now and then, one of the pods will kind of like explode a little bit. And then some grounds in my coffee. Uh, this 26 here uh, was one of the ones we had to bully. I'm not gonna show, I'll just show our scout view so I don't necessarily reveal those traps, but I know you guys like to show uh, me to show or point out bases that we struggled with, and this was one of them. Uh, this forced uh, three or four hits actually, and then a bully by uh, Dennis there. Um, I don't know what it is about some of them, you know, very whiny, very just tricky compartment on the inside, but um, you know, I noticed some things right away. I wasn't in this war. Um, I, I, what was I doing? Why was I in this for? I think I just voluntarily opted out. We needed a few to opt out for the potluck spin to make numbers. Um, but just such a, a, a crazy core here. I was surprised no one no one just tried an earthquake. Uh, that opens up a ton of the base, leaving these very small compartments for hogging on the outside. But I don't know. Very tricky funnel though here on the outside, right? That double set of very high hit point buildings. Could really hard to to get uh, get troops to go in. If a golem goes to this mortar, there's a chance it's going to go down the cannon afterwards. Um, so just overall, very tricky base. Uh, Dennis had to clean it up for us. Not going to show the bully hit, hit though. Obviously, just going to point them out as I go. What I have next here. So this is actually another one that gave us trouble. We didn't have to bully it. Uh, this took three hits and then Grady ended up saying enough is enough. Let's take care of business. Uh, kind of cool base, right? Open concept queen chamber uh, with that clan castle over there helping protect it. King and queen is very open. No walls protecting them, right? But the town hall out front, kind of a tricky funnel over there. So Grady goes ahead and drops a wizard and a baby D. <clears throat> just wants to get this side of the base funneled off and goes ahead and drops that goal in one. I just did a video, uh, video actually I'm saving it right now with Grady about scouting and planning. Um, one of the things is always conserving your golem's health as long as possible and just letting, letting it live into the core of the base to do the serious tanking that your troops and bowlers are going to need once you get into that base. But the cool thing about this attack is, look, there's two golems on the map. Grady still has two golems in the bag. This is a four golem attack, he decides. Now, I believe the idea is because this one jump spell is going to unlock um, basically this whole T kind of intersection and give them access to everything. The king and the queen are only two spots back from this wall, so they're gonna hop into this compartment and get taken out here in one moment. Out comes that clan castle, poison spell's gonna go down, taking care of the gobbies and the baby drag. Out comes a witch even. I think he was a little late, he should've dropped that second poison like right now, right on top of those heroes. Would've taken care of that witch, taking care of the heroes, but it doesn't matter, he's got too much in there. Raid spell is down, right? Those four golems get huge value and goes ahead and sprinkles in hogs from the nine o'clock to the six o'clock section. They're just gonna work across the base now um, while those golems are still in there doing tanking, right? Down goes the Tesla. There's really only the three o'clock compartment to go now and a bunch of trash on the outside, but he's got he's got wizards all over. All his bowlers are still alive. King is alive. Queen is there with the ability. Still has full golem over here and a bunch of golemites. Heal spell. Unnecessary. <laughs> he was trying to heal the one hog and then it gets sprung by the spring trap. Totally swag heal. Nice job, Grady. Way to clean up this tricky, tricky base. Cut blam. Tree stars in the bag. All right, number 20, MBD, nice six-pack this war. MBD just came up uh, from Invicta for us full-time. Uh, I believe this is his second war, and he's already logging six-packs, so clearly we made a good choice. Um, BD is going to go ahead and just bring a shattered entry here, a little uh, um, shattered uh, bolo. God, I always struggle saying that attack. Shattered bolo, I think that's right. That's what I'm saying. That's what it is. That's what I'm saying from now on. <laughs> bolo. That's it. You know, hobo or bolo. Or, or it'd be hobo or lobo. Man. <laughs> I, I give up. Anyhow, <laughs> raid spell, right? Letting everything just smash through this base. Golem does take a bit of a walk, but it's going to just do a little bit of tanky on the outside. It doesn't matter. He's got the uh, bowlers in there doing their thing. Uh, Packet comes out. Not going to be a huge threat to these troops over here. Locks onto the golem, gets a few swings down. Really just got to make sure that balloon goes down because those uh, balloon smashes can do quite a bit of damage. Down goes the balloon, though. And if you notice, he's now <laughs> taking care of Almost all of the air defense, uh, 
he ends up sending in this Lava Hound, number one, and sprinkling in balloons all around, but this queen steps up and helps take care of the air defense. So smartly, because this queen did not die, he drops this hound right here, right on this Tesla, and lets the queen just go at it. And while he moves these balloons in, I thought this was just absolute genius. The hound does pop here, but now all the balloons are in on top of this queen chamber. He's got pops in there, doing work on the queen, just almost have it dead. And then a second hound gets on over. She bursts that one, and the balloon crashes, take care of the, take care of the queen there. Boom, down she goes. A lot of trash to clean up. Time might have been really close on this one. I should have checked on that, but MED comes away with a tree star here. Maybe not, his queen's still going at it. Got stuck on a wall there. Good little split on his troops. Bam. <sighs> Tree in the bag. <clears throat> All right, one more Town Hall 9. Then we can move on. DH, my man. <clears throat> So basically just bringing a Shattered Gold uh, Just sort of going old school with, um, I, think he, I think he's got a Golem in the CC, not Balloons. Or not the Bowlers. Yeah, he's definitely got to have a Golem. Because remember, this Golem gets roasted pretty quickly from the uh, Clan Castle troops. But gets the Wizards in there helping out, gets the Queen in there. They start taking care of things. They're under poison. You see what I mean? The, the Golem is already into bits. Uh, maybe he did not. Where... Is this client castle going to be? It's got to be bowlers. It's got to be. Got to be, got to be. No, Valks. Valks and a bowler. Three Valks and a bowler. So he drops a bunch more Valks in behind. They're going to bust right through this wall. This lab going down would have been ideal because he's got a, gets a few troops to walk here uh, once this queen chamber goes down. <clears throat> Doesn't really matter, though. Uh, everything standing under the heel, all those Valks, right? Jump spell down, unlocks basically the entire core of this base other than this little compartment up here but Valks are going to work through the work through the clan castle working in these next couple compartments he's got another heal spell that's going to go down there it is take care of things when they're in the expo and tesla compartment there sends in the hogs from six just sprinkling them all over the place right just uh no uh, it's got one more heal actually now it's going to be for this three o'clock section um and I believe he gets double duty right here. Oh, no, he uses it up here on the Wizard Tower. That's actually a good idea. Um, the Valks are tanking for that Arch Tower anyways. The Hogs are barely taking any damage, right? Sends in one just a little too late for a distraction, but it doesn't matter. Heal spell goes down. Wizard Tower gets smashed. King ability hits and just busted through that wall. Love when they change walls at the last second like that. But so many Hogs, both heroes. Definitely GG for this base. Tree stars in the bag for DH. Nice job, buddy. All right. Let's check out some Town Hall 10 action. Jacob going in first. A um, lot of our trees are, are coming from a very similar comp. Very uh, shattered entry. Um, sometimes you're bringing max miners, sometimes you're bringing max bowlers, uh, sometimes you'd even bring giants. Uh, but sort of a variation of this with um, anywhere from 5 to 10 bowlers uh, that you're going to send with the kill squad and get your funneling work done. Uh, basically basically taking place of wizards. Um, you're just keeping them in tighter. You want to make sure they stay protected. And then miners. And you, the idea here, right, he, he's going to send in these, uh, send in the golems right in at this uh, Inferno Tower chamber, get a jump spell over to the queen chamber, take the Inferno, take the clan castle, take the defensive queen, and an expo all at the same time here. See these bowlers kind of walk. They end up, because there's so many of them, they, I believe they end up taking these defenses and kind of getting around this bend. But they'll very easily walk if you don't get that funnel down. So that could be a problem, something to think about, guys. See what I mean? He's losing so many of them, but barely takes down this cannon before uh, he loses too many. <clears throat> and then the queen walked as well, um, which I thought was interesting because he sent the miners sort of early to try and prevent that. But the queen went out and walked around, and it ends up working out because the queen does clean up now around this side. The miners start funneling in towards this Inferno Tower and the king. 
just gotta smash that king. See how long it they take to kill that king? I don't know. That's what always screws me up on my raids when I'm using miners, I find. Another heal spell is gonna go down here right away. There's all those Teslas in there, right? Miners just gotta work through that stuff. They're doing their thing. Man, I swear to God, my miners do not live that long when I'm raiding. I do not. Even when a heal spell's down, I don't get it. I got like 20 miners in those very high um, high DPS cores, and they just get shredded. Mine don't live. My miners don't like me. But Jacob's miners definitely like him because they are smashing through the rest of this base. Although the Inferno Tower is left up, it is basically the only building to go. And with whatever, 15, 17 miners coming in, doesn't stand a chance. Down goes the expo, and that's a tree star in the bag for Jacob. Nice job, man. Fifteen Zerdzi, putting up some great numbers for us lately. So same idea, guys. Right, two golems, eight bowlers. This time he uh, he brings twenty miners, uh, maybe a few less funneling troops. Basically the same entry and everything too. Because he's going to go ahead and drop the golems, open up the wall, let things progress into here, drop a jump spell over to the Inferno Tower and Queen Chamber. Basically what I just <laughs> said for the last attack. Uh, difference here though is Zerds gets all of his bowlers ideally going in with his kill squad here, which is absolutely perfect. A couple poisons are going down. Taking care of the, all those CC troops uh, does take quite a bit of damage from them because he's taking damage from the Inferno Tower at the same time, but just not quite enough there for uh, to stop this kill squad. Queen's working through now. Still has her ability and goes ahead and just basically fans the miners out from, um, you know, 2 o'clock to 12 o'clock. Gets to that uh, town hall very, very quickly. The queen was helping out too, so that's always nice. It's, a, it's the worst building for your miners to get stuck on. And... Heal spell down over this uh, Inferno Tower chamber. Uh, the miners do get stuck up on the skeletons for a moment, but no big deal. There's way too many of them. Down goes that Inferno Tower. So both ITs are now down. He's got two heal spells left uh, and so many miners. So, uh, you know, on top of it, bringing 20, he brought seven in his clan castle. So he's got 27 running through this base right now with uh, one more heal now to go. And basically all the high hit point structures are taken care of. Queen in backing things up with her ability still to, still to burn. So absolutely, it's going to be a treat. Really. There's four arch towers and two cannons, a couple mortars. Does not stand a chance. Goes ahead and drops his cleanup troops around the outside on all that trash that is unprotected. Really only a couple more defenses to go. Bam, bam, bam. Let's pop that queen ability. And that is a tree in the bag for Zerzi. Beautiful. All right, endless. Surprise, surprise. We got two golems, we got eight bowlers, we got 18 miners, and I believe miners in the clan castle. So, uh, and let's go ahead and drops a drops a few minis around the around. Just uh, always a good thing to measure those uh, measure those defenses, guys. Uh, when you know uh, you can have perfect placement on minis. See, you didn't drop any over there because of this archer tower, right? So that's where that's where that mini came in. Uh, but you're getting you're getting really good percentage. You're, you're also at the same time preventing your miners from straying to the outside of the base in certain sections. So same idea here, right? We're gonna burst these two golems in, just a shattered entry with bowlers, jump over to the queen chamber and inferno tower at the same time, raid spell down to get things going, poison down, take care of the client castle, take care of the heroes. Beautiful, all that stuff is now dead. <clears throat> Golems are still in there doing tanking from those expos, so that is fantastic, right? Bowlers are getting good value, queens getting good value. Big chunk of the base is now dead. We've got the miners sent in now from uh, the five o'clock section. They're gonna work in a counterclockwise rotation sort of around this Inferno Tower apartment, but I've talked about this before. In your base building, I do not recommend, I mean, I do not recommend putting a Tesla specifically, um, but any buildings around your Inferno Towers. One, because if uh, bowlers are walking by, if there's nothing there, they're not gonna target the Inferno Tower, they're gonna walk right by it. If that Tesla is there, they're gonna stand, walk up to it and hit the Tesla with the chance of taking the Inferno Tower almost at the same time. Now, on the same token, it's gonna draw miners in a lot quicker. Now, these miners you're gonna see after, I believe, the Wiz Tower, 
No, because they're going to go to the outside here. Some do go inside. So I know part of it is too because of the skellies, but the Tesla did suck troops into there, right? And Geth got the miners right on top of the Inferno Tower. The idea is you want the troops pathing around those chambers without targeting the defense um, to get the best value out of it. Anyhow, just a thought. Because Emma's here is just smashing through. It still has a heal left. There's nothing really that's going to stop this many miners with the heal. It's basically swag. I don't even think he drops it because really there's the Archer Tower, a cannon, a Tesla, and another Archer Tower to go. And there's no chance in hell that this, that is going to stop what he's got left here. I believe the Queen. No, Queen's going to step up and take out the Archer Tower just in time. Yep. Down it goes. Swag in the middle. Tree in the bag for Endless. Nice job, buddy. All right. What would a 2.0 recap be without JP, a.k.a. FE, going in here? <clears throat> so this is a cold-blooded entry. Um, JP is going to do the same sort of thing, though, right? Using those bowlers, uh, get those funnel, get those uh, buildings down, get the funnel going. A couple fast miners here on the outside, too. I thought that was very interesting. And then if, then the rest of his miners uh, from 9 o'clock. Now, those miners are just going to move basically straight from 9 to 6. Well, the kill squad moves through the, the middle here. And uh, as well, his miners at from 12 are going to go from 12 to 3. And he's just going to try and keep them healed up, basically. It's almost like just a, a very delayed boner attack. Usually when I watch, like, self-defense through the boner, it's just, like, instant four-finger drop <laughs> with everything. And JP is just a little more methodical about it, I think. Uh, but that's basically it, right? He's getting getting the two-pronged action of cleanup. Bowlers from 12 to 3, or sorry, uh, miners from 12 to 3 and miners from 9 to 6. And his kill squad straight up the middle. Does lose a few uh, bowlers there to a bomb. Still is that king in there doing tanking. Queen's up there. Still has that ability. She's about to lock on to that other Inferno and help out as well. <clears throat> just very conservative on that queen ability. Just a beautiful attack, JP. Miner's starting to pit her out, but has just enough left. A few minis on the back end too. No chance of anything attacking here. Beautiful read on this base, my friend. Bam. Swag ability. And some. And the six pack. Nice job there, Effie. Just a beast for us lately. <clears throat> Same idea. Uh, I think this was the one that wasn't quite as clean. Maybe it wasn't. Uh, but our guys are really recognizing when um, these Inferno Tower chambers that are just instantly accessible from the outside. I know that's kind of hard to prevent. Um, but we're, we're trying to trying to use that and trying to gain the quick access with you know like once this funnel's created the, the inferno hasn't touched hasn't done any damage yet all these buildings are dead so there's really only you know one two three ish maybe four or five if you want to count those in front of the like there's not much meat in front of that inferno tower so that's always good right because then you can get miners in you can get your kill squad in right away. Uh, so the queen clears out this whole section over here. Going to go ahead and let that cold-blooded golem in. Drop that king. It's going to drop six bowlers in behind. Nice funnel is created for the bowlers. Everything. There's no chance of anything going anywhere except right to this junction. Raid spell goes down. Going to instantly smash through that inferno tower. Get the poison down for the queen and the CC troops. Down goes that stuff. All fine and dandy. Just beautiful attack. And here come those miners like I was talking about. Raid right in from 12. There's one. Two, three, four Inferno. So just very, very good job hollowing out the base, allowing the miners just instant access to the Inferno Tower, instant access to the big, big meat of that base. So they're going to get really good value. And look at this kill squad go. Like it is just rampaging now through this very, very large, large core. They're getting big value. He's got the bowler standing in there, just taking out tons of buildings. Still has that ability on the queen. She got stuck up on a wall down here, but she's going to end up walking around doing the cleanup from six. Has wizards helping push these miners now down towards six as well. Has a heal in the bag that he absolutely does not need. Just swag all over the place. Absolutely crushed it, JP. Nice job, man. Boom. All right. Town Hall 10, stealing the show once again. Nice job, guys. Uh, overall, you know, great, great war. 
Um, like I said, we definitely had our struggles on the nines, uh, very uncharacteristic, but uh, it's nice to see our tens and elevens absolutely come in and save the day. So close to a couple TH11 triples, you know, 94 for TU, 83 for DI there. So some really nice hits. Look at this, even, you know, 76% uh, two star for Dennis, 60% 60 for uh, Iceman there and Jacob stealing a 56% on their number one. So overall, really good job. Uh, thank you for the war, RR. Uh, until next time, guys, I think that'll do it here for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help the bag that next tree start. Till then, I'm out.